In this video, I'm going to talk about exponents and logarithms. So I want to start by thinking about an equation, 10 to the power of x equals 1,000, and what is the value of x? Well, we can think of this as being 10 times 10 times 10 equals 1,000. So it's 10 cubed equals 1,000, so x equals 3. If we have the situation 2 to the power of x equals 16, then it's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 equals 16, so 2 to the power of 4 equals 16, so we can see that x equals 4. Now in terms of some terminology for this, the 2 is referred to as the base, the x is referred to as the exponent, and then 16 is the number that were that is given by raising the base to the exponent, so that power. Um, also just note that exponents are also referred to as powers or indices, and so you'll see those terms used interchangeably. Um, so, if we just look at this and consider this for a moment, we can actually use a logarithmic function, we can use a logarithm to solve this for us as well. So, if we have a log, we take the base down here to tell us what base that the log is working in, then we move the x over here, the 16 in here, and that is a way of calculating uh, the value of x. So again, same terminology, this is the base, this is the exponent, and this is the number that we're interested in um, that's produced as a result of raising the base to that power or that exponent. So in this case, you know, if you put that in the calculator or computer, you'd get the value 4. And we've already seen that because it's a, it's a fairly straightforward example because we know that 16 is made from times in 2 by itself 4 times. OK, so the question that we're basically asking when we use a, a logarithm is what exponent do I need to raise uh, the base 2 in order to get a certain number. And just to put that in a more generic terms, I've just changed those to those symbols. So if we have b to the power of x equals n, we can use a logarithm to solve for x if we know b and n. OK, so let's take an example. 10 to the x equals 100,000. So the 10 goes down here because that's the base. The x goes over there because that is what we're solving for. And then the 100,000 goes there, and the answer is 5. What if we have the example where it's 150,000 that we want to get from raising 10 to the power of x? Less straightforward now. So if we put the 10 down there for the base, the x over there, and then the 150,000 in here, and we calculate this, it works out to be 5.176 to three decimal places. So that's been a video uh, looking at exponents and logarithms.